Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here today. We're gonna do another Magic Review for PenguinMagic.com. That's right. Uh, before they went off to Blackpool this year, they sent me a box of some of the tricks that were taken to Blackpool and uh, Cartoon Remastered from Dan Harlan was one of them. Uh, a lot like the original cartoon, if you have it. Um, I've done, I think I've done a review for it. But it's got a lot of cool new uh, bells and whistles that I think if you have the original, you'll appreciate. But if you don't have the original, this is the one to get. This is the one to get. Because now, the method is more deceptive, the drawings are bigger, and the animation is cooler because now instead of the magician just pulling out the card, the magician pulls out a rabbit and then that rabbit gets shook and it transforms into the spectator's selected card. Um, I wanna crack this open and show you the cards. You wanna, you wanna see the cards? Let's look at the cards. This is the outside box packaging. It says Cartoon Remastered, Dan Harlan, Penguin, right? Kind of looks like uh, a deck of cards, but it's not. It's only the outside packaging. The inside deck looks like this. So it's a red deck of cards that says biplane and has a spade pip there. Arrow edition playing cards. Note, it looks very similar to a bicycle deck. So you're not showing this for too long uh, to a spectator. They're going to see this and it's, it's just going to fly right by. Like they're not going to notice that it's not bicycle. It says taking flight since 1903. The back design even looks like a bicycle deck, very similar, a lot of similar elements, right? Even has the P3 ad copy that you see on all of their uh, deck releases. And I'll just say, this is printed from the same company that makes all their current decks. So if you've received any of their current decks lately, uh, the same mystery printer that prints all those cards has printed this one as well. So if we were just gonna go through the faces, your Ace of Spades has a propeller blade, your black spades, you know, everything's exactly like it should. Those are your court cards. It's gonna look and feel just like a standard deck should look. And really, as far as setup and reset, you're gonna keep the deck in new deck order, okay? So the deck doesn't get shuffled. It stays in new deck order. And when you put the deck away, it goes back into new deck order and Dar Dan Harlan will teach you uh, exactly how to do all of that right in front of the spectator. And this is what your back design looks like. So it looks like a bicycle deck, right? But instead having uh, been written or drawn on with Sharpie marker to make a little magician standing on a stage and you got the little curtain going around. And it's interesting that this little symbol there in the center of the, the wheel is really supposed to be a propeller blade on an airplane, but when there's all this art drawn all over it, it's hard to tell that this is not a standard bicycle deck. Penguin did a fantastic job disguising this deck. And then real quick, I'll show you one of the reveal cards. So that is how big your reveal for the Ace of Hearts would be. So nice and clear if you were doing this for kids parties or for parlor magic. And if you don't know how the trick goes, um, I would say stop watching this video right now. Stop, stop watching it. Go back out to YouTube, go to the search field and find Dan Harlan's performance that he did on Penn and Teller. That's right. He was on Penn and Teller, did this trick on Penn and Teller, fooled Penn and Teller with this trick, and you can buy this trick for 20 bucks. You can buy this trick, a Penn and Teller fool us trick for $20 at penguinmagic.com. Kids, you can't, you can't beat that with a stick. But if you don't know how it goes, uh, it goes like this. Uh, you show the cards, right? and you show the little character on the back, you'll even flip through the flip book animation on the back of the magician reaching into his hat and you say, wait, I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil the surprise. Uh, first, let's pick a card, any card, no equivocate, no force, no leading, no, and no nothing. They could literally pick any card they want. You're gonna pull that card from the deck and lay it on the table. Just as a reminder to everyone, that's their card. You'll turn the deck back over, flip through it again. The magician will go down, reach into his hat, pull out a rabbit, Give the rabbit a little shake and the rabbit transforms into their chosen card. You can hold the reveal up and their chosen card side by side and it instantly resets for you to do it again. Is it what I thought? Yes. Well, yes, it is what I thought because not only did I own the original version, 
But I've also seen Dan Harlan perform this on Penn & Teller, so I knew exactly what it was, how it would play out. Of course, I knew what it was. Um, is it well made? Like I said earlier, it's printed from the same printer that does the other Penguin Magic decks. If you've purchased a, a new P3 exclusive deck, right, one of their own, uh, in the last year, you know exactly how these cards feel and handle, right? Perfect. Um, overall quality and production value of the video, you get two. You get two videos. Um, first, you're going to get the original file. So the original teaching of the old uh, original deck, it's got the full list presentation and Dan Harlan, classic Dan Harlan with the ponytail. Dan, ponytail Dan Harlan. That's a 20 minute file. But then you'll also get the new teaching. Uh, that one's 25 minutes. He's going to give you the trailer. You'll get one live performance outside. And then there's a studio presentation in an all black kind of stark environment. Um, he'll talk about what you get, how to perform and reset right at the end. You reset the trick right in front of them. That's the bulk of the 25 minutes. He'll do a quick run through again at speed. He'll talk to you about what to do if the spectator chooses the top or bottom card. So let's say they choose the Ace of Spades or the Ace of Hearts. He'll talk about what to do with that. And then he'll offer you a smoother bonus handling. Pocket space, it's just a deck. Just a deck. You're not going to use that outer box that I showed you earlier. You'll come out with just the biplane deck and uh, nothing to add, nothing to take away, nothing to steal. There's no stealing, nothing going on like that, no deck switches, right? It's all self-contained in the box. How are the angles? The deck covers everything. So there are angles, but the way the deck is made and the way you hold it covers your angles. Could you flash? You could only if you forgot your orientation or you did something wrong. <laughs> Chances are, if you hold the deck in your hand and follow Dan Harlan's instruction on the screen and you match movement for movement, and then you do it several times to yourself, just picking cards at random, you know, just let Alexa or Siri pick a card for you and then do it. If you can fool yourself and you'll get it. And I think the more times you do it, just that muscle memory will kick in and it's going to be one of those tricks that's a no brainer for you. Um, it cannot be inspected at all. You can't hand anything out. So the card they choose or the card that's predicted, you wouldn't want them to take that and turn it over because it would ruin the effect. They would know exactly what happened. Slice and difficulty level, it's pretty easy. You're gonna maybe hold a break with a pinky, do a double, uh, you're gonna necktie, risk kill the deck, but that's it. Nothing, nothing too terribly hard. Even if you had zero card handling experience, you could, you could do this. And uh, like I said, setup and reset happens right in front of the spectator. So positives, it's always been a great trick. It's a, it's a Dan Harlan classic. It's gonna be, this is gonna be a classic forever. All right, that's, that's the way cards, that is how cool cartoon is. The fact that it's been re-released, that it's that in demand, that even when it went on Penn and Teller, it was a classic already and fooled them. Uh, this is gonna be a classic forever. Dan Harlan's name is gonna go down in magic history forever because of this trick. You owe it to yourself to have this classic because you know what? We, we, we think of all these tricks that we can do for adults um, this is one of those tricks that transcends age. You know, I, you could easily say, oh, it's a, it's a trick for kids. This is a trick for everyone, everyone. And if you don't have a trick that uh, works for kids, this one's great, right? Because they get it. It's an animation. It's a little cartoon. But like I said, it's not just for kids. It's for anybody. So uh, something to think about for sure. Um, but is it worth your money? I said it was 20 bucks, right? $20. There's downloads that cost $20. It's a fully custom deck. Most fully custom decks now cost $30, $40. And this is 20? You better buy this before Penguin changes their mind. I think they're gonna hike, they're, if they were smarter, they would hike the price up on this because it's worth more. So you should, you should buy the trick out, really. It should be sold out. That's, that's what I think. Um, Cartoon Remastered, Dan Harlan, P3. Big, huge props to them. Uh, I hope I helped you out, answered some questions for you. If that's true, uh, hit like, subscribe, and follow. Push all those buttons. Even if you've never done it before, help a brother out, man. I'm, before I turn 55 this year, I'm going to be a senior citizen. Well, in some states. I'll be a senior citizen at McDonald's, right? Are they still 55? I don't even know. When do you get your free coffee? I want my, I want my free coffee. Uh, <laughs> when I turn 55, my goal is to have 55K subscribers. So that's my goal. You can help. You can help me. And that's everything I can say. That's everything I can say about the trick. And big, huge thanks to penguinmagic.com. If you want to purchase it for yourself, that's where you need to go. 
Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.